All right, hello everyone and welcome to this uh, small video on how to simulate um, JavaScript object uh, memory addresses. So as you may know, um, you can't access to the actual um, memory address of uh, an object in JavaScript. So you can't just go and um, get like the, the hexadecimal string that target like a specific um, value in your memory. Uh, but I'll show you how you can simulate it and still be consistent with how JavaScript works. So the same object will send the same uh, address and two different objects will same, send different addresses and will also, even though those two objects are similar, so if they have the same properties, same values, uh, but are not the same object, um, I'll show you how you can get uh, fake memory addresses. All right, so let's go. I have here um, an array of people. I'm going to create a user, which is going to be, uh, for instance, me, author, uh, user2, which is whoever, Joe. And here we are going to say, I want, um, in my array, I want the user1, user2, user1, and I am going to get another, which is called Joe as well. All right. So first of all, uh, for those who may not know, uh, when you have object or arrays in JavaScript, um, they are stored just as references. So it's, it's just a pointer to the memory location um, that actually hold that uh, information. And you may see it in action here. If I go here and say people zero dot name is equal to test, you'll see that the first element, but also the third one will change because they are just references to user one. So when I do people zero dot name, I'm actually changing this here uh, within the reference and updating all of the other object arrays or whatever that points to that object. Uh, just to make sure it's actually true, um, we are going to change uh, the name of user2 here, which will not impact Joe here. So I go back to Arthur, I get name test, but here Joe just like stay the same because that object is defined here and is not a reference to the same user2. Even though they have the same um, uh, properties and the same values of those uh, properties, they are not the same objects, strictly speaking. So if you were to do a strict comparison between user2 and name Joe, you will get a false. But if you were to do a strict comparison between user1 here and user1 here, you'll get a true uh, because they actually are the same um, uh, reference. All right, so let's go and let's see what we would need. Um, we are going to need um, a map, so new map. Map is a special kind of object and uh, for our purposes, um, what's really interesting about this and why we're going to use maps here is because you can use anything as a key. So for a traditional object, you would need to use a string as a key. Um, but for a map, you can use anything. It could be an array, it could be an object, it could be a date, it could be anything. And that's what we are going to use here to check if um, object that we are uh, going to scan is already known or not. And if it's already known, we are going to get the same address and stuff and stuff. All right, so we are going to need um, a generator function. So I'm going to call it generate. Uh, if you're interested in generators, 
um, feel free to leave a comment and I'll do a video on just that. So something you should never do except in a generator function is while true and you want to yield something. So in my case, I am going to yield random and I am going to do just that. So random is equal to math.random. I am going to make it look like a memory address uh, using hexadecimal notation. And I am going to uh, slice it, yes. So how many do I want? Let's say I want six, so I'm gonna get two, two, eight, all right. And here we are going to not yield just that, we are going to yield zero dot, zero x random, which is the notation for hexadecimal numbers. Um, so if you were to just increment, so be like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, would just work the same. Um, in that example, we are going to simulate um, how memory would look like. Um, so yeah, we're going to use uh, this. So depending on your memory pool and stuff, you want to use more um, numbers, um, but in our case, just 6 will be just fine. And it's just a demo. Um, I am going to activate it. Generator is equal to generate. And I am also going to need uh, refs, which is going to be a plain object. And we could be doing everything within the known object, but for the sake of simplicity, and I just want to JSON stringify an output. So it's going to be way easier. Um, using regular objects. All right, so now we are going to find ref, which is going to be a function where you pass an object and what you get is an address. So let address and that's basically the main function of that small um, script. So we are going to check if known object has a key, which is the object itself. And if that's the case, uh, then we are going to get it. And this is going to be known object dot get Object. All right, so if um, we already went through that function and we already uh, have put that object within our map, um, we are going to just fetch the value of that. We, and that's where we are going to store um, the address. And we are going to be doing just that. So if it's not yet known as an object, we are going to generator next. So we are going to ask a new value from our generator function. We are going to add a set a new entry. So using the object itself as a key, we are going to pass the address as a value. And for the sake of simplicity, we are going to just uh, pass the address here and store the object. All right, so this is our function and this is what's uh, gonna do the heavy lifting for us, even though it's not really heavy because we only have three objects here. Um, but uh, you could use this in any settings. All right, so uh, what we are going to be doing is actually prepare our visualization. So it's going to be here, a JSON stringify again, and we are going to stringify the references here, and we want them to be indented. And we also are going to, to display 
uh, stringify the references that we get within the array and I'll show you how we will be doing just that in a second it's going to be uh, references is equal to people that map so when we do that we are going to iterate over the people array and for each element we are going to call the find reference um, function and we are going to store uh, get the address for each and store this in a new array which is going to be called references so for each people we are going to return um, find ref p. All right. So let's go and let's put this here. All right. So what's going on? Uh, why is it just the same? Function. Oh, yeah, sure, because it's just a <laughs> small mistake. Um, I'm just going to, I was just getting function here because I, of course, forgot to just use the random method and not just anything. All right, so as you can see here, uh, our first object, Arthur, which is user one, get this uh, uh, simulated address of um, finishing by 56. Our second reference to user one gets the same address, 56 as well. Our, th uh, our first uh, Joe gets uh, ADB. And our second Joe, which is a different object, I, re I remember you what we did in the beginning, gets a different address. Uh, 6987 and here we get into our reference array we see all the addresses and the object that's linked to it so you can see here Joe and Joe even though they are very similar are actually different objects and the reason is just because I can say here it's Bob and here it updates but not here all right, so I guess it could be very useful if you're dealing with a lot of graphs and you want to compare uh, a huge amount of um, object and see if it's already in use, if you can merge it, uh, or if you can, or if you have to change immutability and stuff and stuff. This could be very useful for you. Uh, of course, if you are doing with more objects, you want to get something a little bit more unique than just a random number. But for our example, is just fine. Uh, but then you will need to use a true generator function and maybe just one that increments every, every time you encounter a new object. All right, so I hope it's going to be useful for someone. And uh, if you have any other questions, uh, feel free to leave, it in, leave them in the comment. And I'll make sure to do a small video on top of that. All right, see you in the next one. Cheers.